Whoa, howdy folks. Welcome to Mower Mike's Garage. Now today, as you can see, I'm on the injured reserve. I ripped my peck in half, so we are not gonna be swinging hammers. I'm not gonna be working on chainsaws today. No cooking videos, I'm sorry. But today, I'm gonna start, let's say the early morning technology segment. We'll call it uh, Mower Mike's Redneck Technology Segment. Uh, because I want to talk today about what I have learned over the years from shooting YouTube videos and how to shoot YouTube videos. Now, uh, if you don't know my history, I'm just a, a regular guy, right? If you can notice by my hat, I am not very tech savvy. And over the last three years, I've shot and uploaded about 140 videos. And I like to say I learned the hard way. I'm a very slow learner. But the one thing I've learned about shooting YouTube videos is that the most important part is the sound quality. Because if you've noticed in my last 100 videos, <laughs> my sound quality is piss poor. And I think I finally figured it out. Yeah, finally, uh, after three years, I got it figured out. Now, a little history. When I started shooting, I was shooting with an iPhone 11, which had a fantastic camera on it for about my first 40 or 50 videos. And it was amazing. And the only thing I used on that was just the regular mic from the camera, which it kind of works, but it sounds like an ADM radio station. And every time you turn your head, the sound quality it gets about half. So my first 50 videos, I mean, they're okay for crawling underneath the lawnmower type quality because the quality of the other videos out there is crap that I'm competing against. So those are a little rough. Now, after that, I thought I'd upgrade. So I went to the fancy Apple EarPod Max, whatever, the little white buds that go in your ear with all the noise canceling. I was like, hot damn, we are getting high tech at Mower Mike's Garage. I got the new EarPods. So I started recording with those. So for about 80 videos, you're gonna see that I've got the little white earbuds in there. And I thought I was highfalutin. Recorded through my Apple EarPods to my Apple iPhone. But after a while, I figured out, and my buddy Bob told me, get those damn pods out of your ears. They're doing absolutely nothing. And what I found out was that when you use any type of Apple ear on Max, they don't actually record through those. Those are only for listening and talking on the phone. When you turn on your camera app to record, it is not going through that. You think it is, but it's not. It is just going through your regular camera uh, speakers, which it still sucks. So that's why I have videos from zero to 100, they sound like crap. So let's just get over that. All right. So I did a little research. I'm two years into this, right? So I finally figured out I might need to do something. So what I did is that with all my research, I found out to record through a microphone onto an iPhone, you can do a couple things. You can either wire straight in to the iPhone with a mic, or you're gonna have to wire straight into it to a Bluetooth connector to a wireless mic, like what I got here. So that's what I've been having on the top of my hat for the last about year or so. It's called the Rode Wireless Mic. It's the Rode Duo. So what it comes with is a Bluetooth connector, hooks to your phone, and then you have a couple of these mics that you could talk through. Now, I thought I was fancy because it sounded so much better, but <laughs> there was a major problem. If you'll notice about the last 50 videos, if you ain't got both your ear pods in, earbuds, you might not be listening to anything because I've only been recording through mono, which means it's only been going into one side of the speakers. So what I've been recording, yeah, you don't get Stereo. So stereo means that you're going to get out of both sides, the left and the right. So you got an ear pod left, right, you hear them out of both. When you're in mono, it's just going through one. And so, so last year I've just been recording through mono and I just figured out this morning there is a stereo setting on the Rode mic and it sounds so much better. So now I've got the Rode mic here recording through stereo. And this is the way to go. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna sneak over, I'm gonna zoom in to the little setting buttons. It's very, very simple to talk about the road mic. Um, and so let's go ahead and do that. All right, folks, I got a shot here of my road to mic setup. Now, one thing to realize, I have it off right now. So I'm just recording right now through the iPhone microphone. So you can hear the difference from the intro where I was using the road versus now. 
Uh, so what it's gonna come with is three right there. So you got three, uh, you've got your Bluetooth receiver and then it comes with two wireless microphones. They have another setup with just one wireless microphone that's quite a bit cheaper. I've got the double. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn it on. So you turn it on, you push the button right there, and then you turn on whichever mic you want. And next, which is not that simple, you've gotta know a few things, is you need to hook this into your iPhone. It's got a USB-C port right there. Now it's a USB-C and it's also got a little, I don't know what that is, another microphone input. Uh, so now when you do that USB-C port, the row two mic comes with what this is. So it is a USB to a USB-C. Now, one thing you'll know on your iPhones, if you don't have the new iPhone 15, which has a USB-C port, it will not work. So what you gotta do is get this converter and this converter, what you do, you plug this, the USB-C into here, you plug this into here, and then you put the dingle dangle into your iPhone 11, 12, whatever you got, and then it'll work that way. You've got to hardwire the receiver somehow into your iPhone. Now, what's beautiful is that the iPhone 15, which I've got, went to a USB-C. Now, what that means is that you can go direct from a USB-C, USB-C line from here straight into your iPhone. So you don't need this dangle dangle. And also one thing to realize, if you're gonna do this route, gang, for whatever reason, you've got to use the road wire. I've tried other wires and it just does not work. So I'll go ahead and list all this equipment down below, links to everything on Amazon. It's pretty cheap, but it's very, very important to get the right setup. So, all right, so you've got this, uh, then you've got your Rode mic. Now, what I found out, you'll notice I like clipping it on my hat. It seems like the underbill of my hat is the best spot. So clip it somewhere on you. And what you're gonna see here is like right now, I've got one on and let's see. So you'll see right there, right now it is in stereo setting, which means it's recording through both. Now to change it to mono, you push both of these buttons. Look at that, and it changes to mono. So when you're doing it this way, one microphone is recording to one side, one microphone is recording to the other. Now when you push them back down, you see those two lines, those two lines go into one. Let's see, there you go. Now you can still record both or a single, but it's gonna record in stereo, which means it's going to record through both speakers and folks, I don't know why this has taken me so long to figure out and I apologize for all those people who left me messages like just can record just I can't hear anything that's because I was recording in mono not stereo so that's very important now I do highly recommend the Rode mic I think it's fantastic for idiots like me that really don't know a lot about technology uh, but make sure you get the right hookups all right that's it for me if anybody else wants to know any more about how I shoot these videos uh, and equipment I use leave me a note it's not really my specialty but uh I have learned a few things over the thousands of freaking videos I've shot. So with that, I'm out. We're going to get back to uh, doing dumb stuff with chainsaws next. More Mike out.